Today, we're diving into the incredible story of the moon and its jaw-dropping connection to Earth. We're talking about how this celestial buddy has a treasure trove of secrets that can unlock some mind-blowing facts about our planet's history. From ancient collisions to volcanic eruptions, the moon has seen it all, and it's time we uncover its mysteries. So buckle up, because we're about to take a wild ride through space and time to unravel the fascinating tale of the birth of our moon. I'm Mike Adams, and welcome to All Things Space. Throughout its 4.5 billion years, Earth has endured asteroid impacts, weathering by wind and rain, volcanic eruptions, and crustal shifts that have sculpted its surface. Much of its ancient history has been erased by these forces. However, a unique repository of early Earth's story remains relatively untouched. The Moon Scientists are delving into the Moon's secrets to unravel the origins of our planet. By meticulously examining its terrain, mapping mountains, analyzing craters, and exploring its internal structure, they're piecing together valuable insights into Earth's early days. This journey back in time to comprehend the enigmatic birth of the moon offers a compelling glimpse into our own planet's beginnings. Advancements in space technology enabled the creation of powerful rockets capable of launching humans and their life-sustaining equipment into orbit. Over 300 manned space missions have proven that humans can thrive beyond our planet's confines. Among these missions, the iconic Apollo flights significantly influenced our relationship with the universe, reshaping our identity in unforeseen ways. While these journeys were initially symbolic of confidence during the Cold War, aspiring to further explorations like Mars and sustained habitation in space, these aspirations faltered amid numerous earthly challenges and rapid changes. The historic lunar landing marked a monumental achievement for humanity. Yet the true legacy of Apollo might not lie solely in this feat. It's the lunar rocks, 382 kilograms collected by astronauts, that became the cornerstone of scientific inquiry. These samples, meticulously examined in terrestrial laboratories, hold the keys to fundamental questions about the origins of the Moon and, consequently, our planet Earth. Despite significant progress, mysteries persist. The Moon orbiting Earth at an average distance of 384,400 kilometers remains relatively diminutive, comprising a minute fraction of Earth's surface area, volume, and mass. Devoid of an atmosphere, its temperature spans from negative 233 degrees Celsius at night to 123 degrees Celsius during the day. For centuries, the Moon, as the night sky's brightest entity, has shaped human existence by defining life's rhythms and inspiring cultural narratives. Our understanding of the Moon began to crystallize with Galileo Galilei's use of innovative telescopic technology. Throughout history, Perceptions of the moon have evolved drastically. While some early philosophers envisioned it as a flawless divine sphere separate from Earth's flaws, Galileo's telescope unveiled a different reality. He observed lunar mountains and valleys akin to Earth's features. Fast forward to the era of lunar exploration. In 1959, the Soviet Union and the United States initiated a series of probes aimed at capturing close-up images gathering data, and even deliberately crashing onto the Moon's surface. These missions revealed stark differences between the Moon and Earth, a desolate, cratered landscape devoid of a magnetic field. This exploration rekindled debates that spanned centuries. One theory, advocated by George Howard Darwin, son of Charles Darwin, suggested the Moon split from Earth due to its rapid spin, a theory supported by the vast Pacific Ocean. Another theory proposed was that the Moon was an interloper, captured by Earth's gravitational pull as it wandered through the solar system. A third hypothesis by American astronomer Thomas Jefferson Jackson C. proposed a gradual formation of the Moon near Earth, which contradicted the expectation of a mini-Earth. To resolve these debates, the Apollo astronauts embarked on missions to examine the Moon up close. Its airless environment preserved ancient landscapes, allowing astronauts to uncover evidence dating back to its origins. Eons of impacts had exposed the Moon's interior, leaving a trove of information at their landing sites. Scientists previously observed that certain large, old craters exhibited concentric rings. 
A prime example is visible in the Mare Oriental image, recently captured by NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, LRO. The colors in the image signify variations in elevation. Earlier beliefs suggested that impacts had melted the rock underneath these craters. A newer perspective proposed that the impacting objects had plunged into a molten surface, indicating the radical concept that the moon's early history involved a widespread magma ocean. This hypothesis gained traction upon the discovery of lighter rocks, known as anorthosites by astronauts, implying a gravitational separation where heavier materials sank inward, allowing lighter ones to rise to the surface. The lunar rocks retrieved by astronauts bore remarkable similarities to those on Earth, particularly in terms of shared oxygen isotopes considered akin to blood types among celestial bodies. Contrary to initial expectations, the moon appeared completely devoid of water when examined during and after the Apollo missions. In 1974, scientist and artist William Hartman introduced an innovative theory regarding the moon's formation. According to his proposition, a Mars-sized celestial body named Theia, orbiting alongside Earth, collided with our planet. The impact altered Earth's rotation and sent debris from both bodies into space. Subsequently, this debris accumulated in orbit around Earth, gradually forming the Moon. As a result of this collision, volatile compounds such as water evaporated, contributing to the Moon's dryness. Its composition primarily derives from the mantles of both Earth and Theia, rendering the Moon less dense than Earth overall. While both possess solid iron cores, the Moon's core is relatively smaller. Following this tumultuous event, the Moon underwent a cooling phase, solidifying the once molten surface into a hardened crust. However, the Moon continued to endure substantial impacts during the early stages of the solar system's existence. A comprehensive elevation map constructed by the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter illustrates the extensive battering the Moon has experienced marked by numerous large impacts across its surface at different stages of its development. The Apollo astronauts witnessed a fascinating consequence of impactful events, rocks sculpted within a widespread volcanic environment. On Earth, volcanic eruptions typically arise from water heated and pressurized due to the movement of enormous tectonic plates. These crucial factors are absent on the Moon. Lunar volcanic activity originates from impacts powerful enough to liquefy the surface and release material from its hot interior. Due to the Moon's lower gravity, volcanic eruptions splattered far above the surface, with molten rock flowing out in thin, expansive layers extending a considerable distance from the source. This process created the Mare regions, covering around one-sixth of the lunar surface, believed to have formed during a period of intense impacts three to four billion years ago. The materials brought up by these impacts, consisting of heavier compounds, initially sank into the molten magma ocean. Recent imaging of impact sites by LRO cameras revealed volcanic residues, like the Aristarchus Plateau, with a mysterious channel carved by flowing lava and marked by two massive craters. One of these craters resulted from an impact just 450 million years ago. Blocks of rock along the walls of these craters fragmented during the impact, and scientists identified volcanic glass-like deposits as remnants of ancient eruptions. Tycho Crater, formed about 100 million years ago, displays a peculiar landscape. Its central peak, rising two kilometers above the crater floor, likely consists of material ejected by the impact. A large boulder, 120 meters wide, sitting atop this peak, bears evidence of rock melted by the impact's intense heat. The moon's impact doesn't end there. Its gravitational pull affects Earth's rotation, slowing it by 2.3 milliseconds per century, while the moon drifts away from Earth at a rate of 3.8 centimeters annually. Furthermore, the moon's tidal force stabilizes Earth's rotation and aids in forming ocean currents that influence our climate. This profound relationship between Earth and the Moon traces back to an ancient, violent collision. However, the giant impact theory remains contested within the scientific community. Water on the Moon has long been debated. 
The prevailing belief, based on the giant impact theory, suggests that water and other volatile compounds evaporated from the lunar debris cloud, leaving the moon dry. However, evidence gathered from missions like the Lunar Prospector and El Shiraz probe challenges this notion. Data from the Lunar Prospector revealed the presence of hydrogen across the moon's poles, hinting at possible embedded water ice in the soil. Additionally, the Elsros probe's collision with the Cabius crater unveiled a cloud containing various compounds, including 5.6% water ice on the crater floor, surpassing some concentrations found on Earth. This discovery is pivotal for lunar exploration aspirations. Scientists hypothesize that the water could have arrived via comet impacts or originated from lunar volcanic activity. While much of the moon's water might have been lost to space, remnants could exist in polar craters, potentially enough to cover the moon's surface in a meter-deep layer of water. Recent studies propose a more intricate moon formation scenario involving a smaller body merging with the moon after its formation, reshaping its interior, and creating the moon's distinct topography. To further understand these theories, missions like GRAIL provide crucial insights. GRAIL's orbit around the moon can unveil details about its core and composition, reinforcing existing theories or redirecting scientific inquiry. The connection between Earth and the Moon hints at shared origins, offering insights into both celestial bodies' formation. Understanding the Moon's history could shed light on our own planet's past. Thanks for joining me on this exploration of the Moon. Until next time, stay curious, keep exploring, and I'll see you in the next video.